the questions I'm going to go here. One is, um, you know, what's the earning potential? How much money can you make? There is a video. Some of you will have seen it. I'll, I'll type this into um, the main chat here. Um, that's um, uh, Eric, uh, one of the, sort of the founding uh, members for um, the certification program. And he and I go through a spreadsheet which talks about potential earning potential. Look, how much can you make is a little bit of a how long is a piece of string because there's so many variables. Like, do you have an existing network? Are you starting from scratch? Um, you know, what what network have you already got? What is it that you want to sell? Like there's there's a lot in that. What, you know, do you want to do concierge? Do you want to do group? So there's a lot of variables. I think probably I'll just get your two cents on that if that's okay, Rob. Um, yeah, how you've gone sort of growing your business and over sort of time frame. Yeah, I think because I'm working with a lot of clients from a space of just helping them with their systems and then it evolves into systemology, the consulting part of it started with, well, let's get you onto the membership, the system, system hub membership. So you get the training, you get the vault, you have access to everything that you need, but I'm going to guide you through getting the first CCF done and guide you through getting that DRTC and the systems I've seen, uh, systems, I've, systems assigned sheet done. So once that's captured, we then have a reoccurring, every two weeks we meet and we just do this and they can sign it for three months or six months or 12 months. So it's just evolved into a slow process where in the first year, I mean, I didn't even know what the expectation would be on the consulting revenue. So the concierge is one thing, you sign up a couple of those, thumbs up, that's great. Where all this little consulting time of clients booking in every two weeks or once a week for three, six or 12 months. I mean, in the first year we did just under 200,000 Australian. And in the first quarter of this year, we've already done over 130. So I didn't know what to expect, but now I can see the rhythm. I can see, yeah, December's quiet. What are we doing previous to December to ensure we lock through that passing stage of Christmas and all of that? So now I can start projecting what is the next financial year going to look like? And if I just had one more systemologist working with me, or if I just picked up two concierges in the next three months, what does that look like? So you start to leverage what your history is based around where you can project where you're going to go. If you just keep, in, keep doing exactly what you're doing and just make it recurring. Jackie, I know that the hourly rate you were talking about before, but my little thought on that is turn your hourly consulting into package offering value. So you can say for this monthly fee, you get this in return, not how many hours you're going to spend with that client. Because when you're with them, that's what you're recording Zoom, it's live, it's consulting. What you're doing offline is supporting them from the backside of what you're doing. Whether it's an hour, 10 hours for them, you're offering value because you're a systemologist. So if you can start, because I was hourly for 28 years, we were doing hourly. How many hours can we fix computers and all of that? I've shifted into the to that value added consulting package what, would, what suits you best, three, six, or 12 months when we meet once a week or once a fortnight? Which package suits you best? As soon as you go, well, it's $150 an hour, and they'll go, well, we'll take three of those packages because we only want to spend that much because we only want three hours of your time. You've just lost the value that you're creating of all the offline work that you're actually doing when you're not with them. So that was just my thoughts with you, Jackie, as well, with your hourly. So there's definitely a lot that will teach you around selling and um, Tying back to hourly rate is not ideal. Tying back to number of systems is not ideal. You don't want to say in three months, you're going to get 15 systems or whatever it is. And then they go, wow, okay, I'm paying you 12 grand. That works out to, okay, well, I'm paying that amount per system. Like that's what you want to think about is the problem that you're solving and how much value does that deliver to them? And, you know, if, if you're saving them, you know, 150 grand, are they going to comfortably want to spend 12 with you? Um, and then, you know, a business owner every day of the week, I'm going to spend 12 grand to save 150 grand. And so you'll kind of want to move to that level of discussion with the business owner and help to kind of transition, thinking about the problem you're solving. And then another way that, you know, we have our entry price, you'll see it on the website. We talk about, you know, service packaging starting from, because we also have a lot of other systemologists that charge more than 12 grand for that three month sprint, because they're a specialist in a particular vertical and they've already built up best practice. And they're the systemologists guru in that particular network of vertical. Therefore you can charge more. So we kind of talk about a starting point, but then by no means is that, uh, you know, the ceiling on what you can charge because there are other companies that will come in creating documentation for franchising and things like that, that will charge a hundred grand uh, and, and people pay it every day of the week.